Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel Simply Reefing. We're going to go ahead and unbox the Reef Design or Reefscape Designs Aquascape uh, that they sent me over for the uh, 25 gallon cube here. And we're going to see what's in the box. I haven't unboxed this yet so I'll, your guess is as good as mine as what's in here. Um, as they did design the Aquascape for the 25 gallon here. We're going to see what they, what they sent us. So let's go ahead and jump into the box. And we'll see what we got. And your guess, like I said, is as good as mine as to what's in here. Uh, we got packing, packing, more packing, more packing. A lot of packing here because again, it is an aquascape. They want to make sure it comes to you nice and safe. And it looks like you're coming to first bit here. There goes a piece. Put that there. One more. And there is a lot of padding in here. A lot of uh, the what I call great stuff, foam fill packaging. Make sure that it's secure. Craziness. So, I'm going to keep unboxing this. More packing. And more packing. So, we got one, two, three. Oh, there's four pieces here, maybe like a base, a couple other stuff, so we're going to stack this on top. There isn't anything else in the box. Throw that to the side, and we are going to clean this mess up so we can see what's in the bubble wrap. So let's see. Uh, Alright, so the first piece looks like Probably going to be the base rock to go and make everything. Because from my understanding, what they do is they start with the base rock, and then from there you can attach more pieces via magnet. Uh, I did a video on this a couple months ago. You guys can check that out. Uh, they were at the F Mass show and had a good display of everything going on. And this actually feels a little moist which is good so that way it keeps the rock from drying completely out so we're gonna have a mess here probably but we're gonna try to keep that to a minimum and see what we got so it looks like like I said the first one here is gonna be the base rock more than likely I don't know like I said I'm just not unboxing this I've had it for a while um, coming close to finishing this tank up just went in a couple more pieces to kind of tie everything to this system and that system together and we should be good to go and get this whole thing rocking and rolling. We got a piece of rock here. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to put this to the side for right now. And see about cleaning up some more of this off of the table. I'm just going to go and unpack all of them, see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and put their information in the video so if you guys want to go and check them out, get a quote on what it would, what it would cost for your tank. Um, they went by the dimensions of the tank. Uh, they can probably go ahead and customize some things for you there depending on what you know kind of cores you plan on keeping, uh, whether it's SPS, LPS, things like that. Or maybe you just want to go ahead and kind of come up with your own design and say, hey, just get me a base rock and I'll work with it from there. So, this one out of the way. I hate to knock one of these over before I can get it together. I'm not even sure what kind of material this is that it's wrapped in, but I will tell you that I have had it for a couple of months and all of it is still a little damp. So, that's actually quite interesting. I'd love to know what they pack it with. We've got one more that wants to be difficult. Put that here. And we're going to unravel the last piece and then we'll kind of see what they send as far as an aquascape. So, one second. Last one's coming loud. And. I don't know, 
big ink in this thing because it looks like it'll get stuck. So here we go, we got three pieces and as you can kind of tell, we got a magnet here, a magnet here, and a magnet here on this piece. And this one looks again, like I said, the base rock, I had it upside down. I can see the magnets at the top. So let's see. I'm gonna flip this around, see what I can kind of puzzle piece together. This looks like it makes sense. But like I said, since it is magnetic, you guys can always flip it around, change it however you want to. So this looks pretty darn good. So, like I said, magnetic aquascape, um, really good. And the place here that I'm probably gonna have it, where I'm gonna have a lot of the SPF, you know, some of the, the LPS, some of the softies growing on this. Um, if I need to frag anything, I can go ahead and remove this piece off of here, frag it, pop it back in. If I wanna expand more on this, um, I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna be able to go too far with the weight on this, but as you can see, once you have it, let me see how much angle I can add. That holds pretty well. So this is actually a really nice piece. Now it's a matter of just which way I'm going to go ahead and put it in a tank. Um, I could move this here and this here and I create some nice structures, but all in all, I mean, the couple pieces that I have right now, again, you can glue it down if you don't want to do the whole magnetic piece to it. If you want to make sure that that ledge or whatever you have there is secure, you can definitely go in and glue it down. Um, so what I'm gonna do is probably play around with the way that this is uh, set up here. Come up with some some design that looks nice. So I may turn this around. Let's see. Now again, it's going in this tank, so we'll see what it looks like once we get it placed in there. Um, I do have a couple more pieces to get for this. So I can get some water in there. I did paint the back. I do have the overflow box on there, the return lines on there. And we're gonna run with the, uh, the new site K7 light on this. Um, again, this is all just long-term review, show you guys what you get, how long does it last, and you know if it's any good or not. Right now, the box um, looks good. Some pieces obviously don't go where I'm thinking that they would go, because as soon as you touch it, it kind of wiggles a bit. That seems to hold a bit stronger there, and so does this one. So I may have to probably turn some of these pieces around. I know you guys have probably seen it backwards from the way I'm gonna probably set it up, but I think I don't mess with this much. I don't know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you guys think. Put the big piece on the top here, leave these two on the sides. Go ahead and drop me a comment down below. That is going to be it for this video. Um, I will tell you more about what I think about this once we get it in and start to get it kind of cycled, even though it's gonna be tapped into this system. This one's pretty much bare bottom. So we'll see what the cycle does. It may just go into a micro, um, like a little micro cycle here and, and we'll see. But you know what? That's what this hobby is about. It's uh, getting things and growing them and enjoying the corals and the hobby and just everything about it. Again, this is the Reef Escape Designs Aquascape. It's all magnetic. I'm pretty certain you probably can get more pieces stack this up however you want. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and hit them up in uh, their, leave them on Instagram, and they also have an email. Uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and shoot them down below, and I will check you guys on the next one. Peace.